Cancer, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirits' message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. So what we can see here is that there is kind of this hesitancy see on moving forward, almost this resistance of what comes next, um, uh, complacency, fear of the unknown. Um, what else are we picking up here? Kind of like, um, what's the word we're looking for here? Mm, we feel like you're looking to make changes in your life. However, there is this, uh, maybe there is this, um, Fear of the unknown or um, feeling like you're, you know, maybe uh, codependent on someone around you and they're not at that point in their life. So you feel like you have to hold yourself back um, to make the changes that you want to make. This could even be making you feel really emotional, feeling like you're not doing what you want to do in life because you're waiting for something or waiting for somebody or just feel like you're constantly in this like one foot in, one foot out. Like you don't have the choice kind of an energy, right, of moving forward with what you really want to do. Here's the deal, beautiful soul, okay? You're always where you are supposed to be, but right now it feels like you're trying to control this narrative. You're trying to control what comes forward. You're trying to control what happens in your life. And because you're trying to control it and you're recognizing and you're looking around thinking, well, things aren't making sense. This person's not behaving properly. This isn't working out. I, I can't move forward because of all these reasons, right? So the control that you have on your life right now is creating a focus that things aren't going well. And that's going to leave you stuck in your past, you see? And so we want you to eliminate this past nostalgic kind of energy because what's happening is it's creating your focus to go in too many different places, but not places of, 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 you know, we'll put it like this, right? Your thoughts are going to negatives of the past instead of having your intentions on creating and, 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 and meeting goals and setting intentions and, and moving forward, expanding forward, right? So what this is doing is creating resistance in your life. And it's also creating a disconnection within your relationships, most likely because you're looking at your relationships and you're blaming them for where you are in your life, not realizing that all that needs to happen right now, beautiful soul. And the only thing that needs to happen to change your perspective is to have a higher self meeting with yourself every morning. That's it. To take time out and sit with yourself. Now we're going to give you the exact blueprint of how to make it happen. And this is actually, I sat down uh, with Spirit quite recently and uh, they gave me the downloads for all of this. And this is going to be a course that I'm going to release at some point once uh, my husband and I are going to be doing some traveling. And then when I come back, the whole next chapter is going to start with social media and all the fun stuff. So that's going to be really exciting. We're going to give you the blueprint right now, okay? Because we don't want to wait. We want you to all live your best life. So you wake up in the morning. I really have, there's no excuse for this. Wake up in the morning. You got to wake up. No, I'm just kidding. Wake up in the morning. You get outside, okay? You get outside. I know you work early. I know you got stuff to do. I know you got kids. I understand. You got to get ready. I get it. But wake up, set a time so you can wake up and get outside if possible, okay? 15, 20 minutes a walk. Put in some music that's going to make you feel good or an, an audio book that's going to um, benefit you or a podcast that makes you feel good that you learn something from. But get outside for 15, 20 minutes. What this is doing and why it's important is it's going to ground your energy. And we don't realize how important this is until it's been done. Okay, so it's going to ground your energy. So you're going to be more in tune with your sense of knowing it's going to get you out of the walls. Walls leave us feeling like a caged tiger at the zoo. Whether we feel like that or not, it's what happens because our energy is all stuffed in one place. So we got to get outside, get out of the walls, get in nature, walk around 15, 20 minutes, right? Then you come back. Or if you have got time, if you can walk to a park, you got two options, either come home or walk to a park. But either way, when you come back, you set your timer for 15 minutes and for 15 minutes, you're moving your body vigorously. Now we're not looking to, you know, make it to the Olympics here. Okay. With our vigorous movement, we can win any medals. We just want to move our bodies faster than the normal pace. So our heart rate goes up and we breathe in oxygen. Now you can put in a 15 minute follow along hit training at home. If that makes you feel more comfortable, or you could go to a park and you could set your timer and you could just do some jump squats, some air squats, um, push ups, you know, dance, 
whatever you're comfortable with, right? But moving your body nonstop for vigorous, you can do some jumping jacks or even do some fake skipping, right? That's a great one. But what this is gonna do is it's gonna clear your energy and it's gonna bring oxygen into your body and it is going to ultimately ground yourself. So now you have set yourself up for coming back home and sitting with yourself. And we want you to sit with yourself in a room that is not going to be disturbed and it's not, you're not going to be, uh, it's not going to be um, any disturbances, okay? And then we want you to put on some nice music, okay? You can do uh, anything that soothes your soul, binaural beats, focus music, um, Chantra Seba on YouTube. You could do Melon. I like Chantra Seba lately. The Lionsgate meditation one is particularly my favorite on YouTube. Um, ultimately, what you want to do is you just want to listen to this music, you want to breathe into your heart, and you want to feel calm and peace. Okay, you want to feel relaxed. You want to be in a blissed out state so you don't want to think. You want to turn off your thoughts. There's nothing you have to do. You're not, you're not trying to do something. As a matter of fact, the action is to let go and almost just give yourself permission to let go. There's nothing you have to do and there's nothing you got to take care of and there's no thoughts you got to think, right? And then from that calm, oxygenated, grounded state, you're going to connect so much easier to the other side. And then that's when you're going to be united with the guidance that is necessary for you. That's going to bring you the awareness of what you must do to get where you want to go in life. Okay. And so what that's going to help you do is that's going to help you. Sorry, I have such an itch. Um, what that's going to help you do is, okay, your feeling state is going to be different depending on where you are on your journey. Okay. So maybe you're just going to get this sense of knowing this clarity on something. Oh, there's the answer. Or maybe this sense, this feeling of like, Oh, I really feel like that would make sense for me. Huh? Right. Or it may, you may see things or hear things. It just depends on where you are. But the more that you practice this and you stay consistent with it is the key, right? Then the muscle is going to be built and you're going to get better and stronger and more accurate at reading your and your intuition and your energy and your feeling state because you're going to disconnect from the thinking mind which only takes you back to trauma and that's why we overconsume things and why we stress and why we are freaked out and why we are emotional is because we're too connected to the thinking mind we need to connect to the heart and to the feeling state this morning routine will do it for you every single time. You can pull out your journal and write down what you um, what you discovered and what the messages were. It's really helpful to do that after, and that's a great way to start journaling. Exercise, or we should say nature, 15-minute movement, meditation, journaling, right? Have this be your morning higher self routine. Give this to yourself, Cancer. Please give this to yourself. There's nothing that is more important than this for you at this time in your life. Because you know what that's going to do? That's going to allow you to establish boundaries in your life. No longer will you be people pleasing. No longer will you be doing things that you don't truly want to do. No longer will you be chasing your own tail, focusing on things you don't even know if you want to do or not, right? And sure, there's going to be moments where, of course, we need to do that to experience the contrast. So it's not that it's bad, but there's going to be a lot less time wasted on things that are irrelevant, worrying about what this person said, thinking, how am I ever going to get out of this situation? Oh no, I can't move forward because this person's holding me back. You're no longer going to be giving your power away. No longer will your power be taken from you because you'll have boundaries set because you actually know what you love, what you love and what you want to do in your life. And when you know what you love and when you know what energetically feels good because you're actually connected to that knowing, that's when you're going to attract in the beings in your life that are meant to be in your life. You're going to attract in the service that you're meant to provide. You're going to attract in your soulmate if that's what you wish. But more importantly, you are going to establish a connection and a communication with the other side. And this is what you need right now is that steady connection and communication with the other side, with your higher self, who's already on the other side, with your spirit guides, with your angels, right? With your uh, lost loved ones, uh, ascended masters, spirit animals, whatever it is, whomever you want to connect with at that time, it, you could connect with anyone. There's times where I connect with Dr. Wayne Dyer he comes through and he gives me messages at certain times in my life. And it's the most incredible thing in the world. And then there's other times where, you know, Hey, you could be anything or do anything you want to be. You want to be a rapper, go connect to Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Like it is real out here. And all we have to do is establish that connection. And then the world is our oyster. But if we are not have, if we don't have that higher self connection, it's a very dark and lonely and lost world because we're constantly trying to figure it out and it is very suffocating. So what we want you to do, first of all, is we want you to really start to maybe have a cleanse. All right. Cause your angels are coming forward with cleanse and detoxify. So it might be time to, you know, really prioritize, um, your health here, cancer. Okay. And hydration, Hyd dehydration holds us back entirely. We are based out of water, right? Get some, get enough water in. When you wake up in the morning, drink a bunch of water. 
try to hold off on the foods. And if you do want to eat, maybe introduce some fresh fruits so you become hydrated. Maybe even activate your water with living foods like cucumber or strawberries or something where you like put some um, life back into the water, maybe some minerals like some salt or some um, magnesium, right? But be in the awareness that hydration is going to leave you feeling absolutely incredible. So prioritize that right now, right? And, and maybe you could even do a little intermittent fasting or eat some fruits, but a, a cleanse is necessary, a cleanse and detoxify. So if you've been over consuming a lot of different things or what have you, maybe try to simplify at this time, right? Maybe try to simplify, maybe um, go to uh, what I've really found handy is mono meals. So one food group at a time. So your body actually, first of all, digests the nutrition because it's one thing. You also can tell do I actually feel good when I eat this, right? Because when we're eating multiple things at one time, how are we supposed to know what is good and what is not? Because so many different things, we may feel terrible, or we may feel great. And it's like, well, which one was it, right? So sometimes when we introduce mono meals into our life, if you're gonna sit down and eat something, eat one thing and, and see how that goes, right? One type of fru uh, fruit, one type of vegetable, one type of meat, whatever you prefer in your life, right? Try to just have one thing and that may help uh, go through the, help you with the journey of self-discovery of what works for your avatar, right? And that way you can go through what works and what doesn't work. But ultimately, get enough hydration and maybe do a cleanse, salt cleanse, water cleanse, juice cleanse, fruit cleanse, uh, meat cleanse, you know, whatever you're called to do, it's all good. But really it's about simplification at this time. Get a little cleanse going, um, but ultimately know that this is the, the key to, to happiness is connection to your higher self in the other world. Uh, occupy this time or give this to yourself, we should say. And when you occupy this time with yourself, your world is gonna change. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.